Uh, tonight, the latest batch of first-rounders will be selected in the 2023 NFL Draft. That batch includes Notre Dame tight end Michael Mayer. He finished his college career as the best tight end to come out of tight end U. At Pro Day, he told us that he held meetings with nearly every NFL team, and all the mock drafts have him being selected at some point tonight. He talked about the long process that will end on the stage at Kansas City at 8 o'clock. I'm able to, to enjoy it only because it's it's a blessing. It's something I'm grateful for. You know, not not a lot of people get to do this. So um, if you can kind of flip your mind and kind of just think like this is this is an awesome thing that you're able to do here. There's going to be a little nerves. There's going to be a little anxiousness. Um, but it's it's something that that once it's once in a million. So enjoy it as much as you can, um, which I'm going to do, um, and I'm excited to to kind of get it going. So after Mayor, Isaiah Foskey may have to wait until Friday to hear his name called, but who else is after that? Could it be back-to-back -back years with only two draft picks for the Irish? I caught up with the guys from South Bend Tribune to talk about it more. Patterson, it's is it Brandon, Brandon Joseph. Joseph. Beyond that, it gets real thin. Yeah, you're right. They could, it could be two straight years with just two draftees. Now that would be that would be a, a kick in the teeth. But uh, and but I don't expect. I do think one of those two, if not both, ends up in the late rounds. Patterson and Joseph. It, it, the quality enough in what they bring. Them. But again, uh, they can. There's too much time for these teams and these GMs to, to overthink it. Um, and there's nothing. There's there's no shame in coming into the NFL as an undrafted free agent. Plenty of guys have done it. Stuck around for a long time. The draft begins at 8 o'clock Eastern tonight at 11. I'll wrap up the first round action. For now, we'll be back with one last check of the weather after this break.